It's a great day for gaming, everybody. Welcome back. We are playing Dark Souls 2. We have Andrew back with us. And there is actually an area here that we forgot to go to. That's going to be the next boss. So we are heading there now. Andrew, tell us a little bit about what we're expecting. Enemies. That's it. Right. <laughs> back to you, Cotton. <laughs> Hopefully... Well, the reason why I exhausted her dialogue is because she should appear at that switch um, on the way to mm. this area. And you, if you either give her souls or just plan out kill her, uh, then you can do it yourself or pay her 5000 I believe, and Ooh. change the path to go to a different area. Right. But now I'm going... To, she is a greedy fuck. And a whore. I mean, rumor has it. Rumor has it. So these guys are weak to maces. They're weak to blunt damage. So the mace just absolutely wrecks them. Like, Whoa. like if I had a mace with this much strength as I do dex, I would like maybe almost one shot. Dang. That's even more powerful than a rapier. <laughs> this rapier is pretty good, right? Yeah. <laughs> and it's only it's plus five. I should look basic, into getting some material. Yeah, basic uh, rapier with uh, plus five. Let's see, maybe I could upgrade it sometime soon, actually. What do you need to increase the size? I need one more. One more large titanite. You just memorize? I, I believe, yeah, so in Dark Souls 2 it goes 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and then the final thing is, and this I think the scale, I'm not sure, but there's always that one final thing that, you know, plus 9 and plus 10. In um, Dark Souls 3, however, it goes 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 6, 8? Or maybe it's just 2, 4, 6. <laughs> 2, 4, 6, which is way more. It's double all across the board. Yeah. Which is something that's not fun. I want to say there's one more item, or at least something. Maybe I'm just getting a scholar in the first one, but I know there's something down there. So how many times are you being scholar in the first one? Five. Yeah. Maybe, maybe around five. Did that just say dark touch? It said good touch. <laughs> um, I've beaten Dark, dark Souls 2 base game seven times on one character. Wow. How many characters do you have? Max. What is that? I think like ten. Ten? Shit, man. <laughs> My highest level character on Dark Souls 2 is like 340, oh, 340. Shit. So that's your PvP class, or? That's so my first character ever. I always make on any Dark Souls is I level them forever. I never stop them. Every character after that, I stop at PvP meta. <laughs> so my first character can go max level with 999, which is absurd. Anyone that gets to 999 uh, get a life. Yeah, I can imagine. Because <laughs> I'm at level 200, like low 200s on uh, Dark Souls 3. And it takes approximately 320,000 souls to level one, one time. Jeez. So, you can only imagine what 999 is if at 200 it's 300,000. It's probably like what? over a million. But every time you beat the game, makes your life happen. Um, yes, yes, and no. Yes, you, I mean, if you optimize it for that, yeah, you definitely can. That's, there's no problem. You totally can get five levels of playthrough. Oh, uh, don't you have to do it at the end? You have to do it before you fight Abyss Watchers, mm. which is the first main main boss you need to beat to ring one of the bells, but we can talk about that at another time. <laughs> How heavy is this? Am I going to be too fat? Probably. It's going up too fast. I'm going to, yep. If I'm above 60, then I fat roll. Perfect. 59.8. I just don't have gloves. <laughs> Perfect. That yeah, fat roll's not fun. Can, Can you open the door? Find work door. I need to go down there. That's that's where I need to go. So I need to go down further. Down here. Sure. Yeah, fat roll is the worst, but I know it all too well since I usually play a heavy armored heavy weapon class. I'll go ahead and just show what a fat roll would look like for anyone that hasn't played before. That's a fat roll. They basically make two feet You have the iframe still, but your recovery frames to get up, you can be punished like yeah. like li like you're laying down like you actually are. Iframes mean invincibility frames, so every frame you're invincible for a certain amount of time. 
And uh, so you just have a certain amount when you roll, but you also have recovery frames where you can get hit. And uh, when you're not fat, when you when you fat roll, you have a shorter distance. So if you're not getting further away with your roll, I mean, it kind of just goes against you. Plus, to get up off the ground after bringing that fat, you get punished. Yeah. Recovery frames are too high, and you can't do anything about it. You just have to sit there and take it. Yeah. Like I said, I, I usually do the, the heavy armor, heavy weapon build, so I'm kind of used to it. But if you're just playing this for the first time, don't do that. <laughs> cool. Luckily, Lucatil is honestly one of the coolest characters ever. She's a badass. Yep. Her brother will invade us later on and, oh, really? and wreck your day. Where's your invade you at? Um, you know the area before. Um, Dragon Eerie, where there's those cages on the walls, and um, the final the, the boss there is the Dragon Wavern. Uh huh. Yeah, when you first walk in the front door, he's just like, hey, what's up? I'm gonna come fuck you up. <laughs> I've heard if you have a longbow, you can actually shoot the lantern on. Oh. Uh. Alright, you take a lot less damage now. Yeah, because this is a, definitely a lower level area, because we, ne we went through the whole game without even coming to the side. Well, is that plus your night armor probably? Probably. I'm going to take it off. It looks a little funky. <laughs> That's good. I like this good look. It looked good. On uh, Demon Souls, I had... Uh, I think it was like this dark robes or something like that. They're like armored robes. So they're like decently armored. And uh, they were just like black robes. I looked like, look like a set board. It was awesome. That's pretty cool. Oh. Yeah, we'll move there. Yeah, so have you heard about that? Where you can just like shoot the lantern with a fire arrow and light, light it? Like the. You mean the lantern that needs to be up Lit? there? Yeah. Wow, I have not heard that. No, I have never heard like that. Like the lantern that you just turn on for the boat to come into port? Right. Yeah, oh, you, so you can shoot the the one on the boat. Not the one on the boat. There's one up there, like. Oh uh, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, that one. Yeah. You're supposed to be able to shoot that and just like light it from without even going all the way up there. That's very interesting. I would like to see a video on that. I'll probably look it up tonight. <laughs> Watch yeah. out for the dogs. They're tough. Yeah, there's a dog up there. Doggo. 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 Let down your hair. <laughs> Let down your hair, doggo. <laughs> oh. Touch. <laughs> Isn't that much break then? Good call. <laughs> so that is if I die with it on, it'll like leave me like a second chance. I have one health, but I won't die. Oh, I thought he died. Oh, I never even hit him. Come on, pupper. <laughs> so a lot of the... I also hate those big lanky things in this area. Oh, but you know what? They're scared of fire. Yeah, they are. If you put a torch in their face or have um, that uh, sorcery light right. or cast light or... I don't know what it's power away. Yeah, they, they're scared of it. So they won't attack you, but, you know. Right. Without it, though, they're creepy. Look at these guys. Without it, they can they can give you a beating, that's for sure. And that huge arm, as you can see, they have a huge radius to attack with. Yeah, those are like basically a giant baseball bat. <laughs> they just have as hands. Nice. Dang, it's quick. Um, another thing, I don't and know. And they inflict bleed if you didn't know that. Yeah, they do. So that's just double annoying. Yeah, the claws. Not only do they hit you and have a huge radius and do damage to you, good damage to you. They inflict bleed. Bleed's annoying. Come on. He, there's a guy he in He breaks the wall, doesn't he? Or the, the door. Is the, uh, that ninja thing in this game, or is that Skull of the First thing? What do you mean the ninja things? There's like a ninja thing. Oh, uh, no, it's by, by that. It's like where you, you pull the thing to come up. That is in this game. Um, one thing about this boss is coming up in new game, 
New Game Plus 1 and Plus 2, there's different enemies in the boss room accordingly, some are ninjas, um, there's a lot of things I, this is definitely my favorite Souls because in the new games the bosses will change, they'll have like new, in, they'll have invaders with them. Oh really? There'll be invaders in the boss fight. I didn't that, even that, know that. The lost sinner with that the sword, that's yeah. like the chick that you thought was the chick, yeah. will have uh, red invaders with them. That has a whole other level So, Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2 has a changing yeah. environment um, until a new game plus 3. So, so each it changes place, twice? Three times. Three times? Sure. So, there'll be something new every time for three playthroughs. Which is, I think, really, really cool. Um, and it did, oh, shh. Nice. Don't and scratch your neck. I was scratching my neck and I had a panic on that one. <laughs> Um, so yeah, there's, there's new things in each playthrough, which is nice. And it's nothing like stupid or, it's, it's all manageable and just cool things that go on. He sells you, uh, poison arrows. He sells you the good good. Yeah, and I he used to- He sells you poison everything. Poison moss, poison throwing knife, I used to, uh, resin. come and grab, like, bunches and bunches of poison arrows from him. And you can cheese anything with poison arrows. Oh yeah, you just get them poisoned and just keep hitting them and the poison will stay and the damage from the initial hit will just keep going. Yeah, and it's so funny because like, you shoot like a couple arrows at them, give them poison, Maybe. and go attack them. And as you're attacking them, they just are just dying. They're dying in front of you, so it's <laughs> easy. Easy peasy. Oh, you don't have to go up to them. And, yeah. So now we're going to work on lighting, getting the nice. boat, getting the boat to come. I think since we are such a high level and we should be like level 30 and we're level 80, uh, this will be an easy boss for us. Probably. He's the pinwheel thing, right? Uh, he's the thing with two with two heads. Like, one side is the like the dual blunt weapons, and the other side is the dual mm -hmm. the dual swords. Do they have like a they have like the steering wheel in the middle of it? Okay. No. Mm -hmm. Nope. That's its own like little. Oh, uh, those okay, are pinwheels. Those are actually pin just pinwheels. Is this the where the ninja attacks you? There should be a ninja. I think there's a ninja right here. Ninja so go? I, I, I think you go out there and you get to it. I'll go out there and you get to it. It's because I know it. Sometimes it comes, sometimes it doesn't. Like, it's really fast on my... It should be around this area. My great sword doesn't work out with it. I do... N Is this... I'm gonna lose an arrow. Try jumping off. No thanks. You could. Um... Usually it comes like right there. Yeah, maybe he's just not he's not hanging out tonight. I don't know. He's not feeling great for work. <laughs> he's like, I'm busy as hell, guys. Yeah! Are those stuff uh, gross up too? Yep. That's okay. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is, I think this might be booby-trapped, but there is a SS flash card, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, there we go. We're moving up. Break those bookshelves. I think there's something in that bookshelf. I'm gonna get rid of this poison. Oh, you, you there's some you're, back you're here though. Dead, you? Here's that bookshelf. Okay, I better use them. Um, uh, you know what? Oh, I didn't get poisoned. <laughs> now I don't have poison, so... That was a good throw. Oh, nice. I'm gonna take this off my hot bar. I don't, I don't like having a messy hot bar. It's... Yeah, well, you need to get to uh, healing items quick. You need to get to them quick, so... Right. And especially when I have a D-pad I'm very, very uncomfortable with. <laughs> Um, you see how I unequip my weapon every time I try to use it. Yeah, it's pretty janky. It is. I'll push down and it pushes every button. Look at you. Try to summon Luke Till for the fight? Yeah, why not? I mean, it's gonna be such an easy fight, but that's okay. Overkill's underrated. <laughs> Interesting, the controller vibrates when you summon. I don't play with vibrations, so I've never even noticed it. Good thing 
life gems are cheap and restore your health. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and come down here. It looks so really. What you doing over here? <laughs> oh, what's up with this little buddy? There should be a guy hanging on, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. There we go. Cool. If you fall off, you'll die. <laughs> um, right as I say that, Lugutil just runs right off. That's Wait. okay. Once again, she dies and wastes my time. So that What's guy that? Uh, is a merchant, but I need um, a specific faith and intelligence to talk to him. All right. And as you can see, mine is seven and five. So you're just a stupid I need, idiot. Yeah, to him, I'm just actually dumb. All right, so we are about to fight the next boss. This is a pretty interesting boss. So it's going to be a pretty fun fight, but I mean, like you said, he's pretty overleveled right now. And uh, he only has three SS class, so I'm sure you'll do fine. But thank you so much for joining us. Have a great day and great gaming. We'll see you in the next video.